see without it, but now I can't. Except they bother me. Okay, 5 and verse 2. That's where we are. Are you there yet? 5 and verse 2. All right. Zakar. Zakar. Okay, and that's with a, it's Z-A-C-H-A-R, Zakar. Yuna Kivak. Yuna Kivak. All right. We're not in the Bible, then we're... We're in Hebrew. Okay. Yeah, Hebrew. 5 and verse 2. Genesis 5 and verse 2. I kind of wish I had a page number on this also, but the chapters and verses are all right. Okay. Yuna Kevach. All right. Zakar was the first one. Zakar. Yuna Kevach. All right. Yuna Kevach. Yeah. And then Biraam. Biraam. Yeah. Well, let me give you a spell. This Z A C H A R Zakar. If you want to write it down. I may have to give you a test on this right after. Which line is that on? Uh, five and two. First line. First line. First to the right. Male. Male. Zakar. Male. Okay. Yunek Kiva. All right. And that's U N E K E V A H. And then Biraam. Biraam. That's starting the next sentence. That that's uh. He created them. He had created them. Okay? Yeah, but it doesn't look like that shows on my page. It doesn't show on your page? No, the B. Is it cut off? B Ra'am? It doesn't show. It looks like it's blanked out or there's just nothing above the them created E's. Okay, it just didn't do it, did it? Sorry about that. Let's see what's yours. Is yours blanked out also? Yeah. Well, what do you know about that? All right. Well, just right above it. All right. Find something here. Say it over again. Now, this is where you get to practice. Okay. Okay. This is what it looks like. You can write this in now. All right. Biraam? Uh-huh. Biraam. Okay. All right. Biraam. Biraam. Faith. Ro Ali Maim. All right. Biraam. You can write that there. Right above that word. Okay. That's a very important word, too. This is the word that comes from bara, okay? In beginning, barashith bara, remember? In the first verse in Genesis 1 and 1. Bara'am, bara'am. It's spelled like this. That's the way it looks, okay? If you wanted to go backwards, That's the way it would be backwards if you want to go that way. All right. Baraham. Says Hebrew is backwards. Okay. Baraham. All right. Baraham. By the wreck. Yeah. An E there instead of a. Now, does the Yod lose itself with the, uh, the vowel before? The Ba, Ya, Ba, Ba, Ya, see the Ye, Ye, Ba, Ya, Ba, Ba, Rek. Ba, Rek. Yeah. Ba, Ba, Rek. You're on the second. Second line. Ba, Ba, Rek, B, A, Y, R, A, R, E, C. Ba, Ba, Rek. Ba, Ba, Rek. B A Y B A R E C H. And then O Tom. O Tom. That's them. O Tom. By Yikra. By Yikra. B A I Y I K R A. And O Tom is O T A M, by the way. 
and then she mom et she mom she mom et is et you know just like et extraterrestrial et she mom s h e m a m and then what's the next one who can read that who can read that adam 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 modern hebrew odom Okay, Adam. <coughs> Bayom. Bayom. B E Y O M or Y O B M. It's got a V in there, but you really kind of swallow that. B E Y O M. Bayom. And then this last word is kind of long. It's Hib Ba Riyam. Hib Ba Riyam. Two B's in there, two best. H I B B A R E A M. Now let's go back and look at look at this. Zakar you you ne kavak be raam thy ya thy barek o tam thy yikra et shimam adam yom hib bariam. Male and female. Male and female, that's what the two words, male and, uh, Zakar Yunekavah, male and female, he created, actually, he had created, he had created, and them is a uh, suffix on that word, Baraam, 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 if you want to say it, B-E-R-A-A-M, Thy Barak. And he kept on blessing them. And he kept on blessing them. And by the way, that first one there is third person magnitude singular, Cal perfect. He had created them. That's from bara. You see the root of that word, bara? Genesis 1 and 1. Okay. Bara means what? What does bara actually mean? Remember last week we, we went into some of this where we, we looked at it and we saw the difference between bara. Remember? Uh huh. And I saw. Bara and I saw. I saw means to make. I uh, saw means to make from oneself. Like a tree makes fruit from itself. Okay. Bara means to cut out and make according to a pattern. Bara make according to a pattern, and uh, uh, the other one means to create or to make from oneself. The idea is self-generating, like a fruit tree. And we went back and looked at that a little bit. All right. Now, in this 5 and verse 2, what God is doing is he's explaining what he did in Genesis 1, 26 through 28, and 2, 7 and 8, 18, 20, and 21 through 24. Let's go back and read that. Okay? Let's read it. Brother John, are you got, have you got your Bible open mm -hmm. there? Can you go back to Genesis 1 and verse 26 through 28? <coughs> Very loud. So then, then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Okay. And then 2, 7, and 8, it says here that God created, how he created man from the same elements as the dust of the ground to become dust prophetically. And then in 18 through 20 and 21 through 24 in the second chapter, it says that there was not a helper worthy of Adam or corresponding to him, side to side, juxtaposition. There was not a juxtaposition helper found for him, so God put him into a trance. It said he hypnotized him, and he took from his fleshes and his bones, from his sides, plural, not side, and he formed from man woman, and he called her woman because she came out of man. And then he put them back together in marriage, and it says they were divided, and then they were put back, and they became one flesh again in marriage. So that's a beautiful idea of marriage. All right? And then Adam said, This is flesh of my flesh and bone of my bones, and she shall be called woman, 
And he said, For this cause a man shall leave his mother and father, and they shall become one flesh. That's prophetic. Because he didn't have a mom and daddy. God was his father, that was it. Alright? In Matthew 19 and verse 4 and, and Mark 10 and verse 6, it's a repetition of this in the New Testament, talked about Adam, Adam. By the way, Adam there actually means the human race. The human race. Humanity. The whole of humanity was locked up in Adam. And in God's, Adam was in God's blood flowing likeness and his shadow casting likeness. Alright? He bariam. That comes from bara again. Page 135 in Brown, Driver, and Briggs. In their being created. In their being created. Nephael in Infinitive construct. Okay? Now let's go over to 5 and verse 3. 5 and verse 3. Can anybody read that first word there? Can you read that ramble? The first verse. 5 and verse 3, the first word. Vai chi. Vai chi. Vai chi and lived is what that actually means. And lived. Kept on living. Vai chi. V A Y C H I. And what's the next word? Brother John, you know what that one is? Adam. Adam. All right. See there, you know Hebrew. Isn't that I guess? Well, I, look at how much you've learned. How do you spell that in, in Greek? <laughs> there it is in Greek right there. Adam. Adam in Greek. That's why if you want to write that down in Greek, you can write it right down below because that's the Greek word corresponding to that. Okay. Vai chi Adam. Shiloshim. Shiloshim. That sounds real good. Shiloshim. Can you say Shiloshim with me? Shiloshim. She is like S H E L O S H I M. It means 30. Shiloshim. Shiloshim Umiat. Umiat. U M E A T. Umiat. And then you've got to get used to this word Shana. Shana. All right. S H A N N A H. Shana. Vayoblet. Vayoblet. Can you say that? Shana Vayoblet. B A I Y O V L E D. Vayoblet. Now, is that the end uh, word there on the next to it? Shana is years and then and begat, and he begat. Vayoblet. Vayoblet. He begat. You're going to have a lot of begets pretty soon, so you might as well learn this word. Vayoblet. Have you ever written down yet? Can you say that? Vayoblet. And then bid mato. Bid mato. B I D M U T O B. Bid mato. Say bid mato. Okay. Kital kits kitzal mo. Kitzal mo. Okay, K E T Z A L M O V. That's the next line down, the first one to the right. And then by Yikroth, there's another one you're going to hear all the time. By Yikroth. B A I Y I K R A. By Yikroth. Can anybody say that next word? Anybody know what that one is? Come on now, that one we've had a lot. Yeah. F. Thank you very much, young lady. You've got an A plus for tonight. <laughs> By et and then shemov. Shemov. Shemov is name and monument. Shemov. S H E M O V. Shemov. Shet. Shet. S H E T. Shet. All right. Now let's look at this. Now Adam and Eve are practicing their creative powers. That 
God gave to them. You know that God gave you creative powers? How many of you have experienced those creative powers? How many of you have children? You created a child from you. Remember, we looked last week at that verse over here, Bara and Asa. God created us in the same image. We came from Him. And He, we emanated from God. From His person. And when we get married, we procreate and have children. And we create little children. There's my creation right over there. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, she is. Isn't she beautiful? That's one of my creations right there. My creation. Now let's read this whole verse quickly. Can anybody start it off? Linda, can you say the first word? By chi. By chi. By chi. By chi. Adam. Adam. Shiloshim. Shiloshim. Yumiat. Yumiat. Shana. Violet. Met Mato. Ket Zalvov. Vayikra. Et. Shamo. Shet. All right, now let's go back and look at it. And lived, and kept on being upon the earth, and lived. Adam, 30. Shiloshim, 30. Yumiat, and 100. Yumiat, and, that you on the front of it, that's and 100. Shana is years. Once you see somebody named Shana, that means years. Shana, thy unit. And he begat. Third person masculine singular. If they all while consecutive and perfect. And he begat in his image. In his blood flowing likeness. Look at that. Bid matov. In his blood flowing likeness. See the word in the middle there? Where is the root of that word? You know what that is? Randall, you know what the root of that word is? Which one? That one right there. Bid matov. What in the world is the root of that word? Anybody know? It's the root for the word Adam. It's the root for the Adamah, earth. And Adam, what is it? Dom. In his blood flowing likeness. Brother John, there it is. Adam creates his children in his blood flowing likeness. Because where does the blood come from? In the child. Man. From the man. From Adam. All right. So now they're creating a human race here. In his blood flowing likeness. Kits the mold. Kits the mold. After his likeness. Okay. By ye crop. And he called. Third person masculine singular. Cow. Wow. Consecutive and perfect. Page 894. That's from Kara. Vic. By ye crop. And he called. Et. Shem. Et. Shemo. Shet. All right. What does Shet mean? Or Zeth? It means to uh, to stand in place or substitute. All right. Now, Shep, Zeth was a substitute for Abel and a substitute for Cain because Cain lost his his headship as an heir to Adam. He was going to be the patriarch of the family, but because he killed Abel, he lost his headship. And now this word Zeth is a double substitute. He's a substitute for Abel. And he's a substitute for Cain because he took Cain's place. So this is where we, every one of us come from this man right here. So how far down the sibling chain do you think Seth was? Seth? Because we don't know. <clears throat> okay, Seth was born about 3874 B.C., somewhere around there. And he lived till 2962 B.C. approximately. Adam was 130 years old when Zeth was born. Does that answer some of your questions? So I'm, I'm guessing that there's probably other children. Oh, there's a lot of children. But he just came after. But this is the had. one that became the heir. And was also the substitute for Abel. Abel. Zeth means substitute. Here is the one. Adam lived 130 years. Adam was 130 years old when Zeth was born. 
this substitute, okay? 130 years old. That's pretty old. It would be nice if I could live to be 130 years old and have a child and then hope to raise it. Adam is now creating children just as God created him. They are practicing their creative powers. Okay? Five and verse four. This is pretty neat. Are you, do you like what you're seeing here? All right, pretty neat stuff. If you don't, if you just slow down in Hebrew to where you got to savor every action and every object. Okay? Vayik, vayik yo, vayik yo. Five and verse four. Vayiyo, vayiyo. Okay, it's B A I. Y I H Y O. Now this is I'm just saying this because this is the best I can read it and try to give it to you in modern Hebrew, okay? Vai Yi Yo. Yeme. Yeme. Y E M E I. And what's the next one? Adam. And then Achare. A C H A. A cha re. A cha re. Ho li ho li do. Ho li do. Uh huh. What's the next word? Et. What's the next word? Shet. Shet. Boy, look at here. You guys are getting with it now. You don't need me anymore. <laughs> she mo net. She mo net. She, like S H E M O N E H, she mo net. Miot. <coughs> What's the next one? What's that next one? You had that one before, remember? Miot is M E O T. What's this next one? <coughs> For years, Shana. S H A N N A H. Shana. Bayovlid. Bayovlid. And here's the word create or begat. So this is it. This is important. B A I Y A O Y O B L E D. Bayovlid. That's why you kind of swallow that 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 V in there. Bayovlid. You don't even hear it, but they say it's there, but they don't hear it. Banim. B-A-N-I-M. Banim. You va note. You va note. All right. You va note. U V A N O B T. You va note. And like I said, you swallow the D, or just leave it out of there if we want to. U B A N O T or N O V T. Okay? You have to swallow that. Now let's go back and read this one. All right? Now, when the Adam was a hundred or 930 years old, it's 3045 B.C. 3045 B.C., okay? That's a long time ago. That's 5,000 years ago. By <coughs> Yeo. All right. Yame. Adam. Achare. Hoblado. Et. Shet. Shimone. Miot. Shana. Violet. Banim. Yuvanot. Isn't that nice? Now you can just go right down through her and read it. When you write it down, it does click in your own brain cells, doesn't it? It makes the brain click. It really, that's why I'm, I'm taking time for you to do this. Vayiyo yame adam achari havladov et chet shamone miot shana vayolid banim yuvadot. And they became, all right, and they became the days, all right, and they became. There's the word became. Now, after a person lives, I'm 60-something years old, so I have lived 60-something years, 
Okay? That's how old I am. Dakota is getting real old. She's 17 and a half years old. 17 and a half. 17 and a half years you have became. All right? Brother John, how old are you? You mind telling us? Or? 74. 74. You have become 74 years old. That's what the idea is. You have become 74 years old. I remember when Dakota was a little old toddling, skinny little baby running around, only became two years old at that time. All right? And became and kept on living the days, all right? You may, Yom is days, Yom. All right? You may, the days, Adam, Adam, Achare, after. Achare after his begetting, or causing to beget, Zeth, eight, she mone, eight, meot, hundred, shana, years, and he begat sons, banim, uh, remember what is son? Ban is son. Banim is sons, yuvenot, and daughters. So he, he lived, uh, that many years, and after 800 years, and he begat sons and daughters. I'm going to tell you something. Adam created a lot of kids in 930 years. He created a lot of kids. He kept on creating them. Remember, Eve had the ability of every woman today to bear a thousand children. A thousand children. Every woman has the ability that that many eggs in her ovaries to have a thousand children. And she probably had all of them. She probably had a thousand children. And she had multiple births. Cain and Abel were probably born together. Cain was the eldest and then Abel was the next one. And there might have been girls and boys besides that. I don't know how many she had at that time, but we know she at least had two in that gestation period. Okay? Five and verse five now. It's interesting that we don't know anything about these other siblings. Doesn't say much about them. They're, not, they were, they're gone, so yep. all the only one we know about is do you, one. Do you know how many people in the resurrection that God is going to resurrect that nobody ever got to see that was your grandfather and great-grandfather? And great, 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 great grandfather and grandmothers a hundred times, a hundred generations ago, people that have been forgotten, but God didn't forget. Think about that. People that were forgotten, that God is going to resurrect. He didn't forget. Vayigu. Vayigu. That's a hard word. V a i y. I H Y U by U U. What's this next one? Do you remember what this was? We had that one a lot. All and coal. Coal. Yamay. Yamay. By U U. Coal. Yamay. Y E M E I. Uh, can anybody know what that next one is? Adam. <coughs> And then what's the next word? Asher. Asher. Chai. Chai. Asher is A-S-H-E-R. Now you know how to spell Adam, so I don't have to tell you that. Okay. Chai. Tisha. Tisha. T-E-S-H-A. And then Miot. M-E-O-B-T or M-E-O-T, however way you want to do it. There's a B in there according to modern Hebrew. In biblical Hebrew there isn't. Shana, Shana. Yu, Shiloshim. Yu, Shiloshim. Yu, Shiloshim. Yu, S-H-E-L-O-S-H-I-M. Yu, Shiloshim. Shana, Yu, Shiloshim, Shana. Doesn't that sound pretty? And then, Vayimot. And that word right there, Vayimot, you're going to see a lot of time. And he died. Thy you you call you may Adam Asher Chai Tisha Miot Shana you Shiloshim Shana Vayamot. Let's say that together now. 
Vayihu Kol Yamei Adal Asher Chai Tisha Miot Shana Yushiloshim Shana Vayamot Vayamot all right. And became all call all days Adam Asher Chi Adam which he lived Tasha nine Miot hundred Shana years and thirty Yushilo Chi thirty years Shana and what happened to Adam? He died. Adam saw the fruition of his sin in the person of Cain, his firstborn. He saw a civilization that uh, his descendants built in defiance of God. And now he sees his first, his, his child, the first death he ever sees of that of his son uh, Abel. And there's an old term, when you choose to sin, you choose to what? Suffer. When you choose to sin, you choose to suffer. As simple as that. He lived about 4,000 B.C. to 3,370 B.C., somewhere around there. As some people say 3,847 to 3,300 B.C. These numbers are really guesswork, basically. Genesis 4:16 through 24. We see all these children. Five and verse six now. Five and verse six. Can anybody say that word? Since we've been looking at it every every term almost, almost every verse. By chi. B a y c h i. How about the next word? Shet, Shet or Zeth, Chamish, Chamish, C H A M E S H, Chamish Shanim, Shanim. Remember, we're going to look at Shana here, and this is years. Chamish Shanim, S H A N I M, Shanim, Yumiat, Yumiat, it's a hundred and a hundred. Shana, year. Violet. All right, Violet. It's B A I Y O B L E D, Violet. What's that next word down there on the next line? Et. And then what's the other one? Can you look at that one? It's exactly like it is in English Enosh. 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 All right. And the word for Enosh in Hebrew or in Greek is like this. That it is in Greek. Okay, Enosh. All right, Enosh. Enos. What was the last one on the second uh, sentence there? Violet. Violet. B A I Y O B L E D. Violet. Modern Hebrew would be B. Uh, it would be W A I. Y O L E D. Okay, the one right before Lord Yolet. What? The one right before that one. Okay, that one is Shana. S A N S H S H A N A H. Shana. All right. Yumiat Shana Violet et Enosh. Enosh. Is the Shanaim plural? Enosh? Shanaim. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, Shanim there, years is plural. What about the second line? Isn't that plural too? That it is, but it's not plural like the first one. Mm -hmm. Because we're talking about five years, and this is a hundred. Hundred. Okay, hundred. All right. And lived, and became, literally, and became, and lived, or became, and lived. Zeth, 
mean substitute. Zeth, by the way, is like this. In Greek, it looks like this. Zeth. All right? In Greek. If you want to write that down there in your book, I want to get a little Greek and Hebrew at the same time. That's what's in the Septuagint. Okay? And lived Zeth five Shamish Shanim five hundred and a hundred years, Shana, and he begat and kept on begetting at Enosh. All right? Enosh. What does Enosh mean? You can look that up on page 60 in Brown, Driver, and Biggs, by the way. Enosh means what? Anybody know? Dying. 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 You know that the first ten names of the Bible, from Adam to Noah, all prophesy the coming of the Lord and what he would do? We have Adam. Adam. Adam, our first Adam was Adam. Our second Adam is what? The King of Glory, the God of Heaven, when God became flesh. And what's the next word? What's the next person after him? Zeth, which means substitute. And then we have the next one, what? Enosh. Almost writing backwards. Enosh means dying. Our substitute died. Look at that. Our substitute died for us. The whole. The, have you ever heard of this before, Brother John? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay. We're going to get into this. The first ten names to talk about the coming of the coming of the Lord, the creation of God, the coming of the Lord, Him dying on the cross. Zeth, He is our substitute. He's the second Adam. We have the first Adam, we have the second Adam. The second Adam came as a substitute for our sins, and he died on the cross of Calvary. Okay? You didn't hear that. You've never put this together before. Okay, but we're going to. All right? Enosh. All right? Enosh lived from about uh, 3769 B.C. to 2864 B.C., Okay? Now there's, I mean, there are other. First Chronicles 1 and 1, uh, Luke 3.38, these are some cross-references to this, okay? Last, last time I translated this verse was in 1977, and I was sitting in, in front of Brother Herbert, I imagine, when he was schooling me in this. All right. Let's go on now. By the way, Zeth lived about 3874 to 2962. Zeth lived about 3874 to 2962 B.C., if you want to write that down. These are just general figures. 3874 to 2962. And then let's go back to the next verse, verse 5 and verse 7. 5 and 7. Okay? Anybody know how to spell that one? Or how to say that word? We've looked at that one several times now. Just go back. Vai Chi. Vai Chi. Vai Chi. V A Y C H I. Vai Chi. What's the next one? Shet. Achare. A C H A R E I. Achare. Hablado. Hablado. H O B L I D O B. Hablado. Okay. You got that down? And what's the next word? Et. Et. And Enosh. Shiva. Shiva. And what's the next word? You might know that one, Brother John? Shanim. Shanim. Shiva Shanim. Et. He knows Shiva Shanim, Yushimone. Yushimone. U S H E M O N E H. Yushimone. And then the next word is Miot. That's a hundred Miot. Down at the bottom. 
Shana off. Bye, Yoda. Bye, Yoda. B A I Y O B L E D. Banim. Banim. B A N I E M. I N I M. <laughs> and then you bond note. You note. Bani Mubanot. Let's go back here now. And let's read it together. Bai Chi. Shet. Achare. Halido. Et. Enosh. Shiva. Shanim. Yushi Mone. Niot. Shana. Aha. You know, you know. There, there, look at there. Now you've read a verse in Hebrew. You can go out there to McDonald's over there and shack your brother and tell them how the cow eat the cabbage. All right. By Chishet, Achari, Havlidov, Et, Eno, Shiba, Shanim, Yushinove, Miot, Shana, Violet, Banim, Yuvanot. And lived and existed Zeth. 3874 to 2962 B.C., okay? After his begetting, Hablido, after his begetting, Hifael, in fact, infinitive construct, by the way. And by the way, the sub suffix in this is third person masculine singular in there. Et, Enosh, Shiva, seven, Shanim, hundred, and eight, Yushi, Mone, and eight, Miot, hundred, Shana, years, Violet, and he begat, Banim, sons, and what? Yuvanot, daughters. All right. We're clipping along here in the book of Genesis. Clipping along. Anybody read this next verse? The first one there? By ye you, by ye you, B A I Y I H Y U, by ye you. Well, that little short word there looks is big in English, isn't it? When you try to pronounce it. Ko, Yame, K O L, and then Y E M E I, Yame, and what's the next word? Shet. Shatim. S H E T E I M. Shatim. S R E E S R E H. Now we're on the second word on the second sentence. Let me get back to it here in just a second. Hello. All right. Hello. Hello. Nice work. Uh, Shatim and S. Rat. Shatim is the first word. S H E T E I M. Shatim. S R E E S R E H. S R E and then Shana. That word Shana ought to get, be getting familiar by now. U T Sha. U T Sha is nine and nine. Miot, hundred. Shana, years. Vayomet. What does that mean? Vayomet. Ayomot, and he died. Third person, nice and singular, while consecutive, imperfect. He dies and stayed that way. That's what happens usually, isn't it? You die and stay that way. Yeah. All right, five and verse nine. Five and verse nine. <coughs> Clipping along, we've covered several verses tonight. All right, we got the dates down here of these people, I think. Uh, Zeth lived from 3874 to 2962. All right, he lived 912 years old when he died, by the way. He was 912. That's Zeth. Zeth lived 912. And you'd be surprised how many of these people knew each other all the way back to Noah's time. Think about it. 
How old Noah was when these people died? They knew some of them. All right. By Chi. B A Y C H I. By Chi. And then what's the next word? Enosh. Tishim. T I S H I M. What's the next word? Shana. Next word. Biotis. Biotis. B A I Y O B L E D. Biotis. And if it's in modern or biblical Hebrew, it's Y O L E D. Y O L E D. All right. What's that next word? There's no arguing about this word. Et. Et. Thank you very much, young lady. And then Canaan. Canaan. K E I N A N. Canaan. All right, Canaan. Canaan. Let's look at that now. Now we have uh, Enosh, and now Enosh begets who? Canaan. Canaan. By the way, this word here in uh, Greek is like this. All right, Canaan. If you want to write that down in Greek, it's Papa Alpha Iota. Uh, new, Alpha Nu. Canaan. Canaan. What in the world does Canaan mean? Canaan. Let's look at the, this. Adam of the earth. God became of the earth and became the second Adam. Zeph, he became our substitute. Enosh, he was going to die. Canaan, what was he going to do when he died? Possession. He died to possess. John 3.16. What does John 3.16 say? For God so loved the world that he, began, gave, he, he gave his only begotten Son. Why? Why did he give his only begotten Son? So we can have eternal life. So we can have eternal life and so he can buy back the whole whole universe back to himself. Possession. Adam, Zeth, Enosh, possession. Adam, the first Adam. Dom. We're related to God in his blood, blood flowing like this. We're related to the earth and we're related to God. And God's related to the earth and related to us. Zeth, he's our substitute. Third, by dying on the cross of Calvary, he possessed. The whole universe again and us. All right, isn't that beautiful? All right, Canaan lived uh, about 3650 BC, somewhere around there. All right, five and verse ten. You want to go to another verse? You want to do this one, or you want to quit right there? What do you think? Love you on. You come the furthest. Do ten. You want to do ten? Okay, we'll do it. Okay, since you want to do it, what's that first word there? By uh, chi. By chi. B a y c h i. You know what, Linda? You're going to be so far ahead of them people at home. You know what? And you're getting. Well, you don't know my brain, though. Oh, I, I know you. I can see you lighting up here. By chi. What's the next word? Enosh. Enosh. Achare. Vaichi Enosh Achare is A C H A R E I Hoblado Hoblado Et Canaan Canaan Shamish Shamish is five C H A M E S H You know how you know how to spell Canaan K E I N A N Et Canaan, Chamaish, Esre, Esre, E S R E H, Esre, Shana, Yushi Mone, Yushi Mone, Miot, Shana, Violet, Vanim, Yuvanot. Okay. 
go over the last sentence there, Kim. Okay. The oat? That's the last one on that, that page and then the next page. Okay. The okay. oat is M E O T. The oat. Shana, S H A N A H. Shana, Violet, B A I Y O V L E D. If you want to do it in biblical Hebrew, it's W A I uh, uh, Y O L E D. Okay. Banim, B A N I M. And then you have a note. U-V-A-N-O-V-T. U-V-A-N-O-V-T. Let's go back and look at this one. And live. Enosh. Vaichi Enosh Achare. Let's read this together. Vaichi. Enosh. Achare. Havado. Et. Tainan. Shamesh. Esrei. Shana, Yushomene, Miot, Shana, Violet, Banim, Yuvanot. All right, now let's look at this. And lived Enosh after his begetting, causing to beget Canaan. Five, five, Esrei, ten, Shana, years. And Yushe Monet and eight hundred Miot Shana years, and he kept on begetting sons, Banim and Yuvanot and daughters. Now he lived eight hundred and fifteen years. Now just put some of these years together and find out where in the world they end up. At Noah's time, at the flood, they knew each other. They all knew each other. All right? 815 years. And he begat sons and daughters. Canaan lived uh, from about 36, uh, uh, 79 B.C. to 2559 B.C. Okay? 36, 79 B.C. to 2559 B.C. All right? So now we have Canaan. And he begat sons and daughters. 5 and verse 11. Do you want to do this one? It's not a very long verse. You want to do that one? Okay. By you. you. That 5, 10, B. 5, 11. 5, 11. 5, 11. Oh, okay. 5 and 10 was A and B. Okay. Now we're on 5, 11. Okay. By you. you. B A I Y E H Y U. By you. you. And then Cole. You may. Enosh, Shamesh, Shamesh is C-H-A-M-E-S-H, Shanim, Yutisha, Yutisha, Miot, Shana, Vayamot, and you're going to have to get used to that Vayamot. B A I Y O M O T. Do you miss anything in here? Anywhere? You want me to go back and we'll read it all over again together. But yeah, you have you got them all now? Too fast for me. I'm, I'm oh, was that too fast for you? <laughs> yeah. oh, which, which one do you, where do you miss? Okay, uh, the second sentence. Okay, Enosh five years and nine. Okay. Enosh, Shamish. Okay. Okay, C H A M E S H. Shanim, S H A N I M, U T Shah, U T Shah, U T Shah is nine, U T E S H A, U T Shah, Miot, the last line, Miot, M E O T, Shana, S H A N A H, Shana, Bayamot, B A I, Y, A or O, M O T. <coughs> Let's read it together. By you, by you, you call you may. Call you may. Enosh, Shamesh, Shanim, 
How these first ten names and what they mean? Mahalel, about 3609 BC to 2714 BC. First Chronicles 1 and 12 is a cross reference to him. Okay? Mahalel, the splendor of God. And lived Canaan 70 years and begat, 70 years now, and begat Mahalel. And he begat Mahalel, the splendor of God, from about 3609 B.C. to 2714 B.C. All right? We'll start at 5 and 13 next week. Is this the 22nd? 21st. 21st. All right. We'll get there. Bai Chi Kanan Acharei. Halavdov et Mahalel Abayim Arbim Shana Yushi Mone Miot Shana Bayomit Banim Yuvanot. That's what the next one, even just think about that one till next week, okay? Are you learning? Is it a little easier for you to say the word? It's coming along, isn't it? It's beginning to click. Beginning to click. Well, <clears throat> thank you for your attention and enduring those hard seats. Turn you loose on the world. I'm proud of you there, Linda, coming in here and <laughs> sticking in there. Well, I'd like to learn it, but... Um... Well, it's coming around. It's coming around. You're coming around. You just keep on writing it down. Yeah. That's the, the trick right there. Write it down. When you write it down... You look at that Hebrew, you write it down, and it's going to imprint in your brain, and that's what you call learning by induction. 
All right. Brother John, would you dismiss us in prayer? Okay. Father, thank you for this time together. Thank you for your word. And thank you for uh, the many blessings you give us from day to day. To ask your blessing on our uh, going out, Lord, that we might be able to share what we've learned in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Well, you learned something new, didn't you, Brother John? Yeah. Wait till you get the rest of the things. In all the classes that I that you've had that I've taught, I didn't teach this. The first ten names of the Bible.